All right, Taurus and Virgo. Let's see what's going on in y'all love life. Taurus and Virgo, Holy Spirit, Father God. What's going on in Taurus and Virgo? Uh-oh, love life. What we got here? Selling, selling ship. So that could be a missed opportunity or you and your person are, um, somebody could be distancing their self in a relationship. Taurus and Virgo, give us another card here, Spirit. Someone rising in Venus and please let the message be clear. Give us another card here, Spirit. For our Taurus and Virgo. Let me see here. Yep. Love like fire. Oh, there's some passion there. Or maybe this person is coming towards you. Let me see here. The pleading man. Hmm. Huh. This love like fire could be the th could be a third party situation. Okay. Is what I'm getting here. But we'll see. But your ancestors are gonna guide you through all of this. For some of you guys, mind invasion. For some of you guys, you may intuitively feel that something is off, something's not right, especially with the lies you do tell. But I feel like every time I see this card here, the last laugh, some of you guys will go out there, you're going to do tit for tat, okay? Having the last laugh. But let me see his spirit. Let me take a drink here. What is this on um, selling ship? So y'all take it, y'all take it how it resonates. The selling ship for Taurus. Oh, I can't even speak. <laughs> the selling ship for Taurus in um Virgo. What's the selling ship? Somebody may be taking a cruise too. Okay, here the altar. So it could be either somebody is married, or somebody feel like they had a missed opportunity in having a relationship with you, or like locking it down, or with someone. Somebody in y'all relationship is feeling this way. The butterfly pet, the effect. I don't know if y'all can see this. Tell me more about this um this altar here in this selling ship. Okay, here's skeletons in the closet. Somebody could be hiding that they married. Somebody could be hiding that they are married or they're in a or they're in a long-term committed relationship. Somebody could actually even be living overseas is what I'm hearing too with this sailing ship. Somebody could also be in the military. Somebody have family somewhere else. Hmm. What's the bottom of the dead? Hold on. What's this altar and this skeleton in the closet? I'm trying to keep something a secret. What's this altar here and this skeleton in the closet spirit? For Taurus and um, Virgo having the last laugh somebody being committed to somebody else having the last laugh free to go somebody is distancing themselves something here dealing with travel I'm getting heavy energy of traveling tell me more about this last laugh tell me more about this last laugh okay bandages Okay. Pain, trying to heal from a relationship. What is exactly going on here? But somebody's here like, fuck love. Hold on. Trying to hide something here. About this last laugh and bandages. Tell me more about this last laugh and bandages for Taurus and Virgo. Okay, Pandora's box. What's this? No sorries, no allowed. Tell me more about this skeleton in the closet. You know, the Pandora's box is about. Somebody could be in a be in a relationship to where 
this person, somebody here is married, okay? But y'all do things that are not traditional in a marriage. And I feel like there's somebody here who is going along with this with their person. But really and truly, they're doing it because they have been through bad marriages. And, you know, the Pandora's box, let me, let me read to you what Pandora box means. Uh, for those of you who don't know. Okay. It is being tempted or feeling curious by someone else outside of one's own relationship crushing on, on like a co-worker or whatever. But it's sort of like, I'm just getting an energy like not doing things, not having your marriage like in a traditional type of way. Like it's secrets about a marriage. But having the last laugh, something here with a marriage, something here that you found out about. Um, and it could, or it could cause someone, you're trying to heal, you got the bandages of the heart, okay? Now someone may here may be doing things like, because with the last lab, you found out about some somebody's, you found out about your person's skeletons. You, it, it's something here that you found out about. Let me see, tell me more about this Pandora's box. Uh-oh. And maybe you're, maybe somebody is going around dealing with someone else to try to, um, heal. Like what that person's not doing, you're going to find somebody else to do, to do that for you or to try to complete. Like this is your way of healing or not feeling so bad. Like you keeping something here a secret. You're doing it. But for the most part, the selling ship, that's being separated. A missed opportunity or like a disconnect. Tell me more about this Pandora's box here. Uh oh. Tell me more about this Pandora's box here. Okay, and the boom. Okay. So something here caused a tower moment. Tell me more about love like fire. What is this? What is this love like fire? Something here changed. Tell me more about this love like fire. For Taurus and Virgo. Okay, a soul tie. So this could be karmic or soul or, or, or um soulmate type of energy, but it could more than likely it's like a karmic relationship. You and your person could be arguing. Okay, tell me more about this soul tie. Okay, lovely pictures, okay? So somebody is actually looking at your pictures or somebody is reminiscing about you or they're watching you on um, social media, cold as eyes. This is why you and this person is like, it's so much distance. You're giving, somebody here is giving like the cold shoulder to their partner. Okay, tell us more about this um, soul tie here and this lovely picture. Or you and somebody, this this person with this soul tie, like you, like this person got an emotional connection to someone. This could be a co-worker. This could be, this could be a co-worker. Um, tell me more about this soul tie here in this lovely picture. They got to keep you a secret, a dead peacock. Okay, so somebody ego here is being tested. Somebody here feel like they can't compete against this other person, I feel, with the dead peacocks. Mm. The three witches wanting to come out, which gives me like the three of cups energy. So that could be third party. Well, it just seems that way. What is this dead peacocks? So somebody here is messing with somebody here that they shouldn't be messing with. Is somebody here also messing with a pastor or a church member? I don't know. What's this dead peacock? Or a co-worker? What's this dead peacock? Two want to come out here. The lies you tell, mind invasion. So somebody is obsessively thinking about you or thinking about the situation or this person know that you lying. Is what I'm getting here? Tell me more about this dead peacocks. Okay, here the butterfly effect. So it could be an energy that somebody, you know what? It's just giving me an energy like somebody get a give a little kiss to somebody here and there or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Somebody is making somebody feel good. 
about themselves. Somebody is making someone outside their relationship is another person. They're feeling really good about themselves. Because a dead peacock, if we all know what peacocks are, peacocks have a beautiful plume, right? But somebody here, I feel like, is feeling insecure in their relationship for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, and this person is distanced. Maybe this person is making you feel like you're not good enough. You're not pretty or handsome enough or you don't have it going on or whatever. But somebody here, what you don't know, somebody else will do is what I'm hearing here. This is why you got having the last laugh and the skeletons in the closet. Somebody here is healing somebody else's wounds when it comes down to a relationship. Is what I'm getting here. What's the pleading man? What's the pleading man? What's the pleading man here, spirit? You got here, my fair lady. Okay, so this could be um a good karma. It could be, let me see, tell me more about my fair lady. Does somebody want to come back to you? What's my fair lady? I don't know why this giving me like a spell type of work. Damn, I just said it. <laughs> oh my God. Somebody doing altar work on you? Special recipe is actually somebody doing, you know, like root work. My person, you could be in a long time. So this person is looking at them as my person this is going all over the place hold on special recipe hold on someone is heavily plotting against you and or your relationship spell work may be involved my fair lady the karma card someone getting their karma be it good or bad somebody's plotting on your relationship Oh, so this is what the last laugh is about. So this person with the last laugh is actually the one who's interfering in your relationship. Like I said, this could be a co-worker. With this Pandora box, it could be somebody that you know. This person stalks your person online or you are doing this. I got a feeling that your person go and discuss you or discuss issues in y'all relationship. And this is what got this person to be able to do this type of work. Because they can't affect what they don't know. Somebody is knowing something about a relationship. They're bringing it to some type of altar, some type of ritual. Okay? Is what I'm getting here. Let me see. Tell me more about this. Um, my special recipe. Um, my fair lady and this um special recipe. Tell me more about this spirit. Okay, dreams. Something here. Something could be coming to somebody in their dream space, or you, or, or your intuition. Rigged games. Somebody is trying to interfere in y'all relationship. And I feel like this is either somebody, I'm telling you, this could be, mm, could be somebody close to you. But somebody is definitely doing, I feel like they are definitely doing root work to separate you and your person. Stalking, watching on Facebook, the pleading man, somebody doing root work to try to make their person come back to them or try to control this this, this person loves spells and on your person. This is Taurus or Virgo. What's this dreams here? Using sex magic and all. What's this dreams here? Okay, here's the jack of all trades. Somebody here is a playboy. This could be you doing it yourself. Somebody could be going to get root work done to make that person stay home. 
okay the jack of all trades is somebody here who mess around someone here's who promiscuous tell us more about this um dead peacock and the butterfly effect i just seen friend requests so somebody could have sent you or your personal friend request okay what is this on um, dead peacock or the, in the butterfly effect the three witches people talking about the relationship but this is giving me the three of cups magical moments this is somebody here who like to mess around play around they're really not serious about any relationship but yeah this is what i'm getting here okay what's this the boom the boom in the in the pandora box what is this the boom in the pandora box here okay drinks of pain somebody trying to drink their pain away but why they in pain spirit let's let, let me see some tell me more about this all drinks of pain taurus and virgo somebody just maybe not knowing what's going on what is this drinks of pain here spirit Taurus and Virgo, be clear with the message here, Spirit. What is this drink of pain? Apparently, it's affecting somebody emotionally. The Knight of Cups in reverse. The way somebody here is being treated. Okay, somebody made a the Empress card here. Somebody here have a low self esteem. Okay, so somebody here have a low self esteem. So I feel like somebody here was not chosen. The Knight of Cups is somebody here who cannot commit. So it's giving me the energy of this person with the drinks of pain. Like they're really trying to manipulate your person. Or maybe this is you. Y'all take it how it resonates. The seven of swords here. But the truth is going to come out. It's going to be revealed about the deception here. Okay. With the ten of swords here. But there has been an option. Something here is clear. There have been an option. The Empress card in reverse is, is someone here who got low self-esteem. That's like that dead peacocks. Okay. Someone here who cannot compete against you. Okay, somebody here who don't feel worthy or they were not chosen because you got the Knight of Cups here. Maybe somebody trying to get someone to try to, to make them not marry someone else, but somebody here is doing root work. Somebody here is definitely is to try to keep your person entrapped or keep them jack of all trades to keep y'all freaking separated. It could be these these three witches here. It could be the this could be the three of cups, third party situation, but three witches here as well. This is all about gossiping. Somebody here trying to interfere into a relationship. Tell us more about the boom here. Tell us more about the boom here. Be clear, spirit. I didn't mean to go this long. What's this boom here? Like I said, I had a ten of cups here being separated. Family could be involved in this too as well. Something here not coming together, not having your cups fulfilled. Somebody just want complete misery in your relationship. Y'all, like I said, just take it how it resonates. Or this could be you. Somebody is codependent, hermit. There could be a separation here. The high priest is here in reverse. Somebody here is low vibrational. The four of coins is like keeping something to yourself. The hermit, you're looking at something, maybe investigating. The four of swords here, maybe you're praying on this matter. Or once again, the four of swords is also about separation too. The sailing ships. The missed opportunity, something here not coming together. Somebody is doing root work to, to, to lure somebody away from somebody else. This is why you got the pleading man. Pleading man, and what clarifies that is my fair lady in a special re recipe. This person works with the moon. Somebody is trying to get somebody here, I feel like, to settle down or to choose them. Let's see what the um, messages of love got to say here, Spirit, regarding Taurus and Virgo. It's messages of love, Spirit. Be clear. What you want to tell um, Taurus and Virgo about this reading here, Spirit? It's messages of love. What you want to tell Taurus and Virgo about this reading here, Spirit? Mm. Stability this relationship can stand the test of time. I don't know about that. I don't know. Give us another card here, Spirit. This is uh, three separate situations. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. 
But somebody here is doing root work. Somebody here is promiscuous. Someone wants your person to be lured away from you. So maybe it could be stable once y'all get to the bottom of this. But there's definitely a spiritual interference in your relationship. I'll say that. Healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. What's the bottom of the deck? The attraction you feel is mutual. Y'all take this however it resonates. Did I not say that? An interference? An external party is intruding on this relationship. Somebody put somebody got your relationship on a spiritual warfare. Taurus and on Virgo. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.